You can drive a person crazy. You can drive a person mad. Ba -da -da. First you make a person feel all hazy. So a person could be had. Ba -da -da. Then you leave a person dead. That's the cast of the hit revival of Company, currently driving audiences crazy in the best way possible <laughs> on Broadway. This version of the Stephen Sondheim musical has a gender-bending twist in all-star cast, which includes stage favorite Claiborne Elder, who's with me now. Claiborne, good to see you. How are you? Great to see you. I'm very well. How are you? You made it here in I this did. crazy weather. I did. I thought we were done with the snow. I know. Right? Not, not far from it. Not far from it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, the show was set for March of 2020. We all know what happened then. Fast forward to today. What's it feel like being on Broadway right now? You know, it's so exciting because the audiences are so happy to be there. Yeah. And so I feel like just the electricity in the room every night is so fantastic. Yes. You know, and, and there was some worry about what it would be like to perform for a, a room full of people in masks. Yeah. And you feel their energy, you hear their laughter. It's so thrilling. Yeah, just to have that energy in the room with exactly. you changes the performance too. Um, but the company prepared what some uh, premiered some 50 years ago or so. Yeah, yeah. We mentioned the top, there's a gender bending twist. Bobby is now played by a female. Um, so tell us what it's like kind of bringing this, bringing new life to this show. Well, it's, it's now hard for me to imagine that there was a version of the show where Bobby was a man right. because it is just, it, the, the, the ideas are so present, they're so today, and um, especially when it's about a woman. And yeah. for me, it's a thrill because they don't write a lot of men like my character. And yeah. now that it's, I, it was a woman in the original production, now ah. it's played by me. It's so fun. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a delightful person. So. <laughs> well, and for a good part of the show, you are, shall we say, lacking some wardrobe. That is true. <laughs> You're semi-clothed. That, that is true. And, <laughs> and also, we got to see that anyone that comes into Times Square gets to see that <laughs> as well. What was it like when you saw the billboard of you semi-dressed? <laughs> well, I sent, it, I sent it to my mom. And, uh, <laughs> As you do. And she was proud, question mark. Um, <laughs> she was like, well, honey, you made it. <laughs> I had never thought that's how it would be, but she was happy. No, it was. I mean, it's what, that's what you dream of when you're yes, a little kid. You know, I grew course. up in Utah. I never imagined that would be something. But looking up, it was really exciting. Oh, my God. Well, and, I mean, another exciting thing, you're starring alongside Patti LuPone. I mean, she's <laughs> a legend. And you had yes. a pretty unique experience with her involving food poisoning. That is correct. Um, you know, I was, we were, we had, to, we had to stop the show one day because I was standing off stage and it actually wasn't Patty, it was somebody else came off stage and, um, and threw up all over me oh. because they had food poisoning. Oh my and actually God. two people in the cast were affected with it. So we had to, we had to Shut cancel the down. performance that yeah. night. But um, I will never, I will never forget it. And um, <laughs> no, that's, that's you don't for forget sure. that. No. <laughs> but what's it been like working with Patty Lapone, though? I mean, that's got to be a dream come true. She's incredible. You know, Patty and I have the same birthday. Oh, it's amazing. And of course, I knew that. But yeah, you know, on the didn't. first day of rehearsal, we were all <laughs> chatting and things, and birthdays came up. And she said, and she said, oh, my birthday's April 21st. And I pretended I didn't know. And I was like, well, oh, what? If, well, that's <laughs> that's my birthday, Patty. Yeah. She turned and she looked at me and she said. That means we're soulmates. <gasps> that's and I then mean, I died. That's something um, you don't forget either. No, no. And now we're very. I mean, we send. I we both cook. We send each other recipes. I brought her some oh soup God. the other day. Um, but she has a dressing room that she has fashioned just for the cast as a bar. She has a big neon sign. She welcomes us to go drink there even when she's not there. It's amazing. So it's a place for us to gather in this time when we can't really go out. Yeah. Well, we got to talk about the Gilded Age. It kept me up very late last night because I was pre previewing it. Um, <laughs> there's so much buzz about this show already. So tell us just a little bit about it and your your character and how he fits into this story. Well, I can't tell you a lot. I know. I play John Adams. I play John Adams yep. in the show, and um, I'm from a wealthy family, so I'm on that side of the show, you know. And um, and you'll you'll see by the end of the first episode, you'll know. You'll know a lot about me, I'll just yeah. say. And, um, but it has been, what a wonderful show to be a part so of. So great. It, there's so many incredible New York theater actors involved. I, know, that I it couldn't feels believe like it was one after the next. Truly. I couldn't believe it. So if you're a fan of theater, you got to see Company. It's playing now at the Bernard Jacobs Theater. And you got to see The Gilded Age. It starts streaming on HBO Max on January 24th. Thanks so much for coming. Absolutely.